What's up video response to Cool Like That Asian? Hey. So I wrote I wrote down some notes of your pet peeves on flying. Um, first one, seat back. People putting their seat back. Um, yeah, I don't like that if somebody's like in my face and uh, just totally. Anyway, yeah, I agree with that one. Um, what I hate even almost worse than that though is when people, and it's usually kids, not always kids, but usually kids, the parents allow them to kick your seat while you're flying. And they whack on it. Oh man, that's irritating. Okay, second thing, second pet peeve of yours was the luggage they like try to hold, you know, haul on the whole thing. I was a business traveler um, quite a bit when I had a career and I never put luggage in the compartment hold. If I'm going to go for a long vacation though, you know, like a week or more vacation clothes, I always would put, you know, my big suitcase underneath. My husband would put a big one underneath and we'd mix our clothes up in case they got lost and always took, I always take emergency clothes. So, you know, when we were going on vacation, I always took a swimsuit, you know, some shorts, panties, you know, I mean, emergency clothes in case the luggage gets lost. Big on that. But I always use a, the, the size that will fit underneath the seat or I can easily get up above. I don't carry 90 bags on with me. Um, I'm, I can be a very light traveler if I'm only going for three or four days. Uh, then you talk about the seating. Uh, I'm an aisle seater. I do not want to be trapped whatsoever in the window or in the middle. I always request aisle seat, or if I'm traveling with my husband and I, him aisle me next to him, or whatever. I cannot stand to be trapped, nor do I like somebody to crawl over me 60 million times. Uh, so yeah, they should really take that into consideration when they book their seats. Okay, the reach over thing. That's debatable with me. And the reason why is because I don't like a lot of people's germs. So I really don't want to be handing, I don't really want to take something from the waitress and, or the steward, excuse me. Oh boy, that shows how old I am. The flight attendant and hand it to somebody else. I wouldn't want them to do it. I, I, I want to the least amount of people to be handling my drink or beverage or whatever's being served to me as possible. So I'm okay with that. Um, they can reach over me in that circumstance. At a dinner table, it's a little different. And then, oh, yeah. Well, bodily functions, yeah. That's what bathrooms are for. And um, you're just in uncouth if you're doing that in an airplane with everybody around. That's all there is to it. Um, <laughs> that's <laughs> the way I see it. I'll have to tell you a story though. I used to fly quite a bit um, for business and I was flying with the VP. Sometimes we would fly, if there was a group of us going they would fly us in the corporate jet. And it was more economical um, to do so if there was like, I think it was eight. If there was eight of us going on a training trip or doing something, it was more economical to do that. Um, don't judge me, and it was good, I tell you. <laughs> Once you fly in a private jet, you, you're going to change your tune. But um, cuts down on everything. But on the airplane, I was flying with a, a female VP who was 
pretty full of herself and she had a seat like mid plane and I had a seat more towards the front of the plane but she didn't like to fly mid plane so uh, being her normal diva self um, she was kind of wanting me to trade places with her so I said okay yeah I'll fly in the back and you can fly up front and, and whatever and it wasn't first class it was just towards the front of the plane so but it was a middle seat <laughs> she sits in between these two guys um, from another country why they weren't sitting together I don't know <laughs> but it just this just totally cracked me up because she's such a diva and she you know she was like really pushing to sorry that's my timer to tell me I'm starting to talk too long anyway she she is really pushing to what she wants to sit in front okay so she gets between these two guys from another country which evidently the custom in their country is acceptable to pick your nose so both of them the whole air <laughs> sorry it's just so funny the whole air flight were picking their nose and talking over her <laughs> I'm sorry, it still cracks me up. <laughs> she asked for it. I wouldn't have put up with it. I would have, I would have, I would have done something. <laughs> and my, my seat, which was further back, was just fine. <laughs> so that's my nightmare. I have more nightmares of flying, but um, actually I love to fly. So we'll see you later.